everybody in this video I want to tackle an issue that I often see uh, has two sides and that is the issue of using cheap paints if you're a beginning artist or if you're a hobby artist and the two sides that I often see are yes if you're practicing just use whatever and if you're a good artist you can work with cheap or faulty material and the other side is no, don't use cheap paint because it ruins your painting. And in this video, I'm going to show you my opinion on that. So for this video, I'm going to use uh, three types of paint. One and another one from the dollar store and the one from the brand that I'm actually using. Editing Jenna from the future here. I just want to make clear that I'm by no means sponsored by the brand that I'm showing. That's also why I don't call it by its name. Uh, I just really like the brand and that's why I'm using it. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Okay, bye! Okay, so just for the visual side of it. This one has literally nothing on the packaging. I mean, it has a box, but it doesn't really has a brand name. Yeah, it doesn't say much. Then the other one actually does have a name. Uh, it's called Lemon Yellow, but the color actually has a name. It has the brand on the individual packaging. And then uh, the one I'm using actually has a lot of information on the individual packaging. It has the name, it has a uh, color code. It also shows uh, how well, uh, how opaque uh, this color is. And then it has a bunch of other information. Okay, so if I drop a color here, drop a drop, drop a color, whatever. I try to make the same amount, yeah that's way smaller. And I'm just gonna let it sit for a while. Okay, so now we have let the paint uh, just sit for a few minutes. And as you can hopefully see, the paper absorbed way more water from the dollar store paints than from the brand paint. For the rest, I'm just gonna paint a little bit with it. As you can see, it's not opaque at all. The paper shines through very much <laughs> and you can actually see still see like the watermark uh, the original drop of paint left Ooh. and it's just very i mean that's maybe a pro You can cover like quite a large area with it, but the coverage is just bad. Next we'll go to the brand from the dollar store. As you can see, that's way, already way less uh, or way more opaque. Or it has a greater coverage, however you want to call it. And you can probably also see that the color is, um, like, this color is way lighter than this one. But I'm not even sure if the paints have the same color. Because, yeah, it's three different brands. And even the, the same color or the paint with the same name of color can have a different color between brands. So I don't want to judge on that, but the color is very faded in this one. So now on to the one uh, from the brand. I 
and look at it. It has so much coverage. And also the color again is, it's way less faded than uh, the dollar store that was not from any brand, but it's also darker and way richer than the dollar store brand. So it's half an hour later now and the brand paint actually has dried. I think the store brand is also dry, but it still feels like wetter than the brand and the nut brand yeah it still feels wet I actually as I go over with my finger I kind of like take a fiber from the paper <laughs> and as you can see on the back side the paper is folded way more here, which means that the paper has taken up way more water. So after I showed you this, I just want to conclude that it actually doesn't matter if the paint you use is cheap or expensive. However, it does matter if the paint is workable. Uh, the cheapest paint in this video just didn't cover anything and that was just on paper. If I would have showed you this on canvas it would be way and way worse and the brand I'm using isn't actually very uh, expensive so if I'm gonna grab a bigger tube this is like five to six euros for 120 milliliters so that's actually not that expensive but no you don't need the most expensive paint to if you're just a beginning art, even if you're like an experienced artist, you don't need the most expensive paint there is. Your paintings are not going to get better. However, if you just use cheap, very low quality paint, I'm just going to straight out say it. If the quality of your material sucks, yes, your painting is going to suck. And that goes especially for paints. I mean, your canvas can be pretty low quality. Like half of my brushes is from the dollar store and they're great. But if you're painting or if your paint sucks, your painting is probably gonna suck. So even if you're a beginning artist, I would advise you to invest in good quality paint. This doesn't necessarily mean the best quality or the most expensive paint. Because if you have very expensive paint, you're also very afraid to use too much. And especially as a beginning artist, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. So you're going to spill a lot of paint. I hope this helped you a bit and I hope to see you next week. Bye!